Welcome to this Mantium tutorial. This Mantium tutorial, we're going to learn chat with your Notion data using Mantium and OpenAI ChatGPT plugin. So let's get to it. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to import data from your Notion, create a data set in Mantium, and then you're going to use Mantium to set up your plugins and take it over to ChatGPT interface where you're going to chat with your data, question and answering, summarization, generation of text, and do all sort of applications that you can in ChatGPT using the Mantium plugin wizard. If this sounds amazing, let's get to it. I'm in my Mantium account, and you can also log into your Mantium account. If you need access, sign up with the beta link that I provide in the description below. So, data sources, yet we are going to connect to Notion to bring in the Notion data. So, click on Add Data Source, and you can see we have a couple of data sources here. We want Notion, which is the knowledge management system connector. So we're going to click on Notion, and you can see that I have a couple of connectors already set up. Uh, choose an existing connector. But for your case, if you don't have this set up, you can click on this to add a new connector, then connect to Notion, and then you're going to grant Mantium access to your Notion pages, the selected pages that you want to bring in. Let me just show you. Click on connect to Notion, and that will take me to the OAuth page where I'll be required to select the pages I want. So we're going to be working with Manity Search, which is an example product, and we've created a page just for this tutorial. So I'll click on Allow Access, and that would connect to this particular page and bring the data over to Mantium. And you can see that loading up. Uh, so this is where I'm going to provide another data source name. Uh, because I've created in the past, I can just say Notion Tutorial. Perfect. So save and test, and we'll have the data set ready in Mantium. Now that the job is done, you can see the data set here. So I'm going to click on Create Custom Data Set so that I can add new transform to this data set and we can create plugins from there. So you can again say Notion uh, Data set any name that you prefer just provide that and click on save so the job is going to run again to have a new custom data set that you can customize by adding transforms such as splitting uh, and you're going to find out the kind of transform we're going to add to this data set all right so we've created the custom data set and I'll navigate to transform and add a couple of transformation so you in Mantium we have a lot of transformations that you can use to clean your data, get them ready for the AI application that you want to build. And for this tutorial, we're going to be working with two. We're going to work with split text transform. And this split text transform, we use it to split the content to get it ready to generate embeddings on that so that it doesn't uh, go above the open AI recommendation. So I'm going to split by word right here so that split every at every word, the split length that I've provided is going to divide that and create an additional row. So I'm going to provide one six. So I'm going to split by word and I'll leave the remaining configuration as default. I'll take a look at the source column right here. We have content. We have uh, the new destination column, which is the segmented text. That will be the new column. So I'll add another transform, which is combined columns. I want to combine the columns because the combined column is what I'm going to use to generate embeddings in a plugin use case in ChatGPT. So I'll rename this to combined underscore text. So we have a new column called combined text. And I'll provide the string template. The string template is how the column will be combined. I want to combine the author with the title, with the content, which is the segmented content, and also add the source URL. So that's what we're going to make use of over a chat GPT. I'll write author, then uh, I'll select the column variable right here, which is the created by, that's the author, and I'll use a delimiter, the pipe delimiter to delimit the author from the next one, which is the title, so add title. Uh, type to click on the column variable as shown, then also add the delimiter, then uh, I'll continue till I'm done. All right, so I'm done. But the next thing is, let's just take a quick recap. 
Starting from here, we have the source column to be content, which is uh, the content we have right here, the Notion content, the text on each Notion page, and we have a destination column, the segmented text, because we are splitting it, and uh, we don't want it to go more than the opening eye recommendation. We want to split the input text into smaller chunks. Then combine the columns. We have the author. I want the author to show beside the title and then the content, which is the segmented text and then the source column. So you can say, oh, Blessing actually authored this content. This is the title and this is the source URL. So that when you are using that over at ChatGPT, you can really understand the query, the responses that you are getting back. So I'll hit save and run transform and this job is going to run. We'll wait for that to get done and we'll take over to the next process where we're going to create the plugin. All right, so the job is done. You can confirm here yeah, we have combined text and this, this is actually what I was trying to explain. You have this content uh, authored by Rob and then you have the, you have as shown. So you can also see right here, everything in the combined text column. The next thing to do is to create the plugin. I'll navigate to plugin to create a new plugin. So I have the Notion demo plugin created already for myself and I'm just creating this tutorial to show you how to create the same for yours. I also have another plugin uh, as shown. To do that, navigate to new plugin and click on that, wait for it to show up. You have two options, either you select a data source and if you select this, you're going to go through the whole process that we've just completed right now. Uh, but because we've done so, we're going to create uh, we're going to click on existing data set. I'm going to choose uh, from all the data set I have. And this was actually what we just worked on, the Notion data set. Click on it, select next, and select an existing credential for your open AI. If you don't have one, you can simply copy and paste and create just right here for you to use it. So I'll click on open AI because I have the key and this is the content. Again, this is the combined text column that we're going to take over to ChatGPT, and that's what we're going to pre-process right here. So I'll click on standard. Uh, I have a content link in the description below where I explain the other option, and I'll just copy and paste combined text. So we have combined text, so this is the column that contains the text we want to use. If you click on continue, Mantium is going to run some transform on your behalf to generate embeddings and also perform more pre-processing that would enable you use this content over at ChatGPT. So click on continue and Mantium will begin the preparation job. So you can see uh, you can see in yellow the source column, the combined text, and you can see in the other color the clean content the split content and then the embeddings that we're going to use in ChatGPT. So click on next and uh, you want to configure your destination. The destination is the vector database that you're going to store the data and the ChatGPT can query that. Then we have manage the Mantle Manage Redis database, vector database. Uh, I recommend that you use this. If you want to, you can easily use Pinecone, but we recommend that you use this. So just click on Go, and we're going to configure this. So when this is done, you want to click on Next, and then you have your ChatGPT integration all set up. To get your ChatGPT credentials, you have to provide some information right here. For plugin name, you can provide something, Notion Demo Plugin, uh, name of plugin, so the other plugin I was talking about, I used Notion Demo. So, And then, yeah, this is the most important part, description for ChatGPT. I recommend that you provide a lot of details right here so that you can be able to use your plugin over at ChatGPT. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at this and then hit the Create button. Because I have this plugin all set up, I'm just going to close that, but you want to click on create and you want to complete the process. Once you uh, click on create, it shows your credential details that you can just copy over and set up that. I'll close this and yes, close. Again, if you click on the create button, uh, you can also get your credentials from the plugin repository as shown. So I can click on this and I can copy my credentials here, copy the access token, copy the plugin URL. Uh, the access token and the plugin URL is what I'll use to set this up over at ChatGPT. Let me show you. 
Okay, I'm in chat GPT and you can click here. Yeah, so see the plugin I was talking about, the Notion demo. I've, I have that working already in chat GPT. And you can also see a couple of plugins I've created in the past. I have a video linked in the description or above for you to watch on other plugin tutorial. And that was the one on uh, PDF or files data. Click on plugin store and you want to navigate to develop your own plugins. There are a couple of uh, verified plugins for OpenAI and they are also on verified plugins, the one I've created for uh, tutorial purposes. Click on develop your own plugin and here you want to paste the URL. The URL I talked about here, so you want to copy it and paste it yeah, right here. Copy and paste and you click on find manifest. Great, so the Notion demo, right? So next, uh, install for me, so I'm just, you, if you are new here, just complete the procedure because I, I have it installed already, so there's no point installing it. So click on install for me and then you copy your access token and then paste it after this window and you have it all set up. Let's take this for a spin, let's see how it works. I have it selected and let's provide the prompt that would make ChatGPT to make use of this plugin. I've prepared a prompt and it says, Please develop a comprehensive marketing plan and captivating Twitter thread to introduce the Manatee search product. Using the Notion plugin, create a referral program for the product as well and include the data that you've considered. Uh, fantastic. So click on open. You can see the query uh, that is being sent to get the data and you can see the score as well. You can see auto information. You can see the response back and ChatGPT is spinning up a nice response for us. Said so based on the information gathered from Notion database, here's a brief overview of the Manatee search. We're going to develop the marketing plan and then the Twitter thread all in one prompt. The marketing plan is coming up and the prompt, the Twitter thread would also follow up. Uh, so again, you can see the metadata, you can see the URL, you can see the created art, the author, and then the title, and the score as well. This is the importance of pre-processing your data appropriately because you, if you take a look, see we have author, we have title, we have uh, the content, just like we pre-processed, right? And we also have the source, just like we created and we pre-process this. So it's very important to use the momentum transformations to prepare your data set prior to creating plugins. Let's see the final results. We have the Twitter thread as shown. We have uh, the referral program. We have the marketing plan. We have the channels and everything. You can also, I say, uh, please include the sources, right? So it's going to also include the sources for us. Um, so you see the link is giving us the link uh, written by Blessing and DCG, Ryan. Uh, so it's going to just, yeah. We can also test this. I can actually copy this URL so that you can see where it is in Notion as well. So I'm just going to try and copy one of this URL. Uh, so this is the URL. Let's take it for a spin and let's see the data in Notion. See the product overview. This is actually the page where it's getting the content from. Back in ChatGPT, you can see that we've been able to use the Notion demo plugin to actually chat with our Notion data. And that was the objective of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. You see, we were able to cover everything just like we mentioned. If you need any help building similar application, join our Discord where I'll be available to answer more of your questions. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching.